Kathleen Miller with Hug Longer Digital Designs, and I'm here today with quick tips from Kimberly. And today's quick tip involves Embrillian's Enthusiast. And um, I know that the reason I first got Enthusiast was for this feature I'm going to talk about, and that is the knockdown stitch. So I went here, and as you can see, I added the word Hug Longer. Um, I did that with my lettering tool up here and I use the chalkboard font right here and that is one of the Embrillian's fonts that I really do like. So once I situated it and made it exactly how I wanted it, um, I know this is going to stitch good because again it's one of the Embrillian's fonts, but it isn't going to stitch great on a towel that has a lot of pile that's real fluffy. And so one of the things that I like to do with anything I stitch on something that's fluffy is add the knockdown stitch. And you're going to find that up in your utilities. And when you go up to your utility, you just want to scroll down until you find the knockdown and click on it. When you click on it, you're going to see here that your screen pops up to speak about inflate. And what you're doing is you're inflating the shape of the hug longer so that you can put stitches underneath it. And this is the default, the density of 1.2. I find that really good. I also find the stitch length good. I do like to raise the inflation to 4. Um, I just like a little more of the edging covered. And that's a personal choice. You may or may not like that. Sometimes if it's super thick of a towel, I'll add the bi-directional as well. And once I have everything set the way I want it, if I hit the OK button, you're going to see the knockdown stitch. Let's hit the two on our keyboard and look a little closer at that. It's not super tight of a stitch. You can see through it in many areas, but what it will do is it will hold down the stitches or the pile of the um, towel so the stitches of hug longer, it's going to show better. Let's go back and hit the one on our keyboard. And now you can see here the underlay is first, and that's important because you do want that to stitch before the hug longer or whatever you have that you'd like written on your towel or, or blanket. So what I do is I stitch this underlay the color of my towel or item I'm embordering on. So you're not going to really um, see the stitches as much as see the words or the object that you have and want to highlight pop out a little better on the towel. So if we click it like this, you can see the hug longer is on top of the looser stitches, and that's going to hold that down and allow us to read the word better. The other thing that you want to consider is even if you're doing a towel and when you stitch it, it looks good when you first stitch it. Once you start washing that towel, unless you have something like this knockdown, you may find that you're not happy with the look of it after a wash or two. Anyhow, I hope that helped you out to learn how to use the knockdown stitch. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.